Good morning. My app are back. Here's the plan. Forms up in the house columns. Concrete poured. Forms down. Walls. More extension. Could possibly go wrong. Oh, we'll start at the front. Form's coming off. One here. One here. And over at the back. If you can make it out in the far distance, form's going up. We'll stick around and see what these columns look like. So last night, they got six columns poured and they're starting to get those forms down. Uh, not sure how many they expect to get done today. The revised target to get all 30 columns done is now 10 days. We'll monitor how close they can get to that target. Manny, again, has ceded control of the diggerator. And apparently this is part of a training process for our engineer who's being taught how to drive it. But Manny, right now, is, you know, he's not urinating. There you go. He's uh, watering down the concrete, keep uh, allowing it to cure, which we like to see. And we've got these forms starting to come off. Over at the back, those forms starting to be completed. Here on the south wall, something I missed. They have poured the first three columns going along this way. I'm not sure why that one doesn't go quite as high. Maybe they ran out of concrete. Uh, but also, if you can make it out, I think we, ha we did have before the beginnings of this elevated tie beam. So, starting to go along this wall, heading closer to completion. On the job training with our engineer Raphael ferrying Juanito and water to where it needs to be. And here next to our neighbour on the north side, O'Donnell's working on a little bit more of this wall. And you can maybe make out using the plumb bob to check perpendicularity. There's a word we haven't used for a while. And standing tall, we've got Richard working on, again, the top tie beam. Somebody put a comment in if there is a specific name for the tie beam at the top. And I think a little bit further round, uh, we've got Ronwell doing something up, something similar. Okay, I got that wrong. Ronwell's over here. Good morning, Ronwell. My back. So he's preparing those beams. So the unveiling begins. This corner one has almost got this side off. And on this one, they've completely got the side off. We're going to have a closer look. All right, the sun's not helping here. It's a pretty dark shadow. We'll try and brighten it up later. If it comes out, you can see there are some voids in this surface. The ones at the top definitely look very minor. There's one here. It looks a little bit deeper. We'll ask the engineer about that later, see what his view is. Back to this corner one, on this side, might be a little easier to see. Looks very good, actually. There are some very minor surface voids. But so far, this one looks in very good shape. And I've just taken this form off here, and it looks close to perfect. And it's immediately getting the water treatment from the form and Manny. And they will continue to water these down periodically. Uh, 
at least for a couple of days, maybe quite a bit longer. So we've got the forms off of all of the six columns that were poured. I'll have a quick look around. It's obviously with pretty bright sunshine, we're going to get very variable light here. This one, not at all bad. Some voids, there's, there's some voids on all of them, but they're all relatively minor. Over on this corner, not much there at all on this side. Very little on this side. This one looks very good. Only some bare, a few very minor voids on this one. That one to me looks good. This one is probably the worst one we've got. Even here, these voids look really quite superficial. And over in the far corner, if I can avoid standing on anything. Again, a little bit at the bottom there. I suspect there was a little bit of concrete leakage. But that looks very good. So, the engineer says, in his experience, these are probably about the best he's seen. Now, you might say that to every client. Um, but, as he says, that we're not even close to having exposed internal rebar. They are straight. We didn't get any real busting out of any of the forms. The forms that they, the monster forms they used, did their job. And they look good to me. Come on, you builder types. Let me have your comments on these forms. I would really appreciate getting advice from people who are not invested in this. Not that I'm saying our engineer is, is lying to me, of course he's not, uh, but independent thought from anybody would be appreciated. And over here, we have three more that look like they are close to being completed, getting towards the next pour. And obviously that is what the lead foreman is now suggesting. It's on average going to be three a day. We'll see. It's still pretty early today. It is only 9.20. Uh, these forms do take some putting together, so uh, it may be that uh, these are the only three done today. We will see. And lastly for now, they are periodically coming back and watering down the concrete. It dries out so fast here, it is hot. But they are being pretty diligent in trying to keep water on the surface. Here's a man proud of his diggerator, keeping it clean. Good sign. It's mid-afternoon. It's Saturday, so it's a slightly early finish. We're almost at 2.45. Not a long time for these guys to go. But they have made very good progress on this double wall right up to the corner about uh, five or six if you include what's underground five or six levels up uh, they have put a, a little bit of bracing on this wall earlier on somebody was showing me if you put your hand on top of that wall you can very easily move it so i do not have high hopes that this will survive Maybe I'm wrong, we'll see. I guess by uh, middle of next week, or even early next week, we might start to find out. Here we are, still on the south wall, but heading towards the road. JR, Webb, 
are adding the tie beam along the top. It's got a bit of an arch feature to it just here. But I think that uh, gets corrected as they tie it in more. And it will end up being flat. Back at the house, we are putting concrete inside the forms for the columns. There's, there's one on this corner being done right now. And they have done already at least two others, and it might be more. We'll check at the end of the day. At the moment, there are a total of six columns that have forms which are either complete or partly complete. So they seem to be accelerating a little bit. And when he's back to us, we've got our engineer who seems to be undergoing a bit of a uh, training process where well, he's not being an engineer, he's being a worker. So they were Manny was helping him learn how to drive the diggerator. Now he's learning about watering concrete. So, yeah, graduate trainee. And back at the carport, we've got double R. Richard and Ronwell have now got the tie beam, the elevated tie beam, all the way around. So, excellent progress over here. Just these two guys working on this today. And this is new. On the north wall, down by the neighbour's house, we're right up to height, all the way to where our new front wall is. And now O'Donnell, with Juanito, are taking that higher. That's a lot of progress for two guys, in my uneducated opinion. Right, it's almost 4.30 and it's Friday, not Saturday, as I've been thinking it was all day. And they are in the process of vibrating the sixth column that they have poured today. So they've definitely accelerated. Two days for the first six, one day for the next six. And apparently, they will be doing a little bit of overtime tonight. We might be able to make out over here, there's various bits of scaffolding going into place, so we shall see what happens once they finish with this column. So this will be the last one they pour. They've run out of some of the materials they need for the forms. Uh, more will come tomorrow, I'm sure. But we'll see what happens next. Well, it is now 4.30, actually just gone, and the official day is done, although there's still some hammering and banging going on, so we'll go and check that out in a minute. But starting up here, uh, we saw this a little while ago, but there's very good progress in A, building our wall, B, building the neighbour's wall. So they've done a double wall up to, well, about there that column and then I'll we'll carry on along here and then as we said before try to build alongside this without it falling down we'll see how that goes tomorrow in that bag I'm not going any closer than this they caught a snake <laughs> Marlon says it's a big cobra it's uh, I, I did have a quick look a little bit earlier on it's not huge, but I wouldn't want to get too close to it. I don't know how they caught it and kept it alive. Rather them than me. Down by the road, definitely a little bit more progress with hollow block since we looked at this in mid-afternoon. So we really are starting to get the beginnings of frontal security. And this is one area where there's a bit of OT going in. They're clearing this area of land. They've been working on this for a fair bit of the afternoon, a few of them. Manny and the Diggerator and Ariel in particular. There was a couple of concrete, old concrete columns similar to this one. 
but uh, Nathaniel's hammering away at right now. And it took them forever to pull it out. It was uh, not the best of columns, but it was really stuck in the ground there. And they're still going at these ones. So, this land slowly getting cleared. And this will be, somewhere in there, will be where the new roadway, driveway, comes in. With about seven or eight guys still working, we'll call it a day here. Six columns poured. Really pretty impressive progress on walls. It's been a good day again. We will be back tomorrow if I can get through the night without too many horrible dreams about snakes. Back tomorrow for Saturday that really is Saturday. See you then.